Welcome back, folks. This is Galactic Tactics, your home for all things Twin Suns and Star Wars Unlimited. I'm Caleb. Welcome to the channel. Today, we're going to be talking about a uh, little deck tech. I'm not necessarily an entire card list, uh, but we're going to be talking about the Spectres, uh, Hera, Sabine as your leaders, and then we're going to be talking about you know some of the kind of core on how to build this Twin Suns deck. I didn't really want to tell you, you know exactly what to do, but kind of the way I theorycraft behind it and the way I want to think about it. We don't have too much. Uh, support for all the specters, so we need to really fill it in with um, some other uh, utility units uh, until we kind of get to where we need to go with that 80 cards, more support from the next two sets. With that, let's get going. So yeah, let's get started with the heroes. So the main uh, leader uh, for this deck is definitely going to be Hera Sandula. Uh, she kind of holds it all together, that way you can play all the Spectres. Uh, she's a 6-4-6. Six, six. While she's in the leaner's, leader zone, uh, her ability is ignore all aspect penalties on Spectre cards you play. So we've included all the Spectre cards. There's only a handful, I think six or seven. Um, so we definitely added all those in there um, just so we can you know, have that that um, ability. But what we're really kind of building around is going to be when you deploy her uh, for those uh, six resources. Uh, she comes out is a 4-6 uh, Rebel Twi'lek Spectre. Um, you're still ignoring the aspect penalty, uh, but on attack you may give an experience token to another unique unit. So that's all of your named units. Um, this is going to be our heroes, um, all of the, the generals, and everyone else that we have in this deck. So it's going to be very unit heavy, so that, that way we can get those experience tokens and really buff up all of our, our units. Uh, for this core, um, I've added you know all the ones that I find really flavorful, not necessarily mechanically, um, the best, but definitely flavorful for um, kind of the Spectre deck, the Spark of the Rebellion, and really get that that flavor uh, for what we're doing with this deck. And for our second unit, uh, we are, or for our second leader, we're going to do Sabine. So Sabine, we should all really know about her um, for her action while she's in the leader zone. Um, use her action, deal one damage to each base. So that's everyone's base. And then when you deploy her for that two five on attack, deal one damage to each enemy base. So this is really good in uh, multiplayer because that's going to be doing three damage, not just uh, one damage. So you really swing with her to three damage to all the bases as well as whatever extra damage. Uh, so she is a rebel, she is a specter. So she's going to get whatever um, buffs we're going to give to those um, to those units. So for the team, uh, this is kind of all the rest of the, the, the Spectre um, units and cards. Um, Chopper, um, number one, that murderous dude. Um, he's a one, um, yellow, and heroics. So all these are gonna be heroics. Uh, so you're gonna have all those aspects uh, good to go. Uh, he's a one, three. Uh, when you control another Spectre unit, this unit gains raid one. So whenever he attacks, he becomes a two, three. Yeah, so that is correct. So whenever um, Chopper is attacking, he gets that 2-3, so he gets an extra bonus. And then on attack, discard a card from the defending player's deck. If it's an event, exhaust the resource that player controls. So it just gives you a little you know, a little extra ability, uh, which is super nice. And we want to get value out of all of our cards, especially since we only have one of everything in our decks. Um, next, Kanan Jarrus, uh, Reveal Jedi. He's a 4 blue. He comes out as a 4-5. Uh, Jedi Rebel Spectre. So on attack, you may discard one card from the from the defending player's deck for each friendly Spectre you control. So ideally, um, you're going to have at least two Spectres ready to go onto the battlefield. Uh, you're going to have a Sabine and a Hera. So you could um, discard um, two cards from um, defending player's decks for each friendly Spectre unit and heal one damage from your base for each different aspect upon discarded cards. So. Ezra Bridger comes out as a three yellow, uh, three four. When this unit completes an attack, look at the top card of your deck. You may play it, discard it, or put it at the top of your deck. You no, know, just a nice little way to look at your cards, see what's happening, so you can play a little bit more with your resources. Uh, Zeb Relios, he is a five red, five five Rebel Spectre. When this unit completes an attack, if the defender was defeated, you may deal four damage to a ground unit. Um, so this kind of goes with um, both, I believe, I don't know the exact way it works, um, when he defeats another unit, um, or possibly it may be um, players as well. Um, we'll have to look into that, 
but uh, you get to deal uh, four damage to a ground unit, so that's just extra damage on top, getting that more value. Sabine Ren. So you get two copies of Sabine and or Sabine in this deck. She is a two, two, three. While there are at least three aspects among other friendly units, this unit can't be attacked unless she gains Sentinel. Um, on attack, deal one damage to the defending player. Um, so again, just another way to get a Spectre unit in, as well as you're going to have three aspects amongst your friendly units because we're playing multiplayer. This is a definite awesome uh, multiplayer card. Um, so even with you know just having uh, a Sabine, a Hera, and maybe one other um, aspect, you're good to go. And then the Ghost, um, six blue, comes out of five, five, shielded, and when played and on attack, you may give a shield token to another Spectre. So you only have a handful of Spectres, but if you're playing this on six, you should be able to have had um, Hera as well as Sabine out, uh, give one of them a shield token um, and use that for some aggro. And that's really kind of the way, um, uh, kind of building the core behind this deck is for that aggro. Um, so you'll, the cards you'll see here, um, after all the flavorful units and those um, um, unique units, um, the kind of the support package uh, I, I really like as an aggro, um, doing damage, um, defeating other units, getting that spot removal um, so that you can really attack with um, all of your specters. So, for the events cards, um, we only have two Spectre events cards, uh, Spark of Rebellion as well as Carabast. Uh, Spark of Rebellion is a two yellow, look at the opponent's hand and discard a card from it. So a little spot removal before things hit the, flo uh, hit the board. Um, really like that. And then Carabast, uh, two and a red. A friendly unit deals damage to an enemy unit equal to the amount of damage on friendly unit plus one. So. Kind of break that down it's a lot of words so you choose one of your units i mean it deals damage to another enemy unit for however much damage is on that so if you have um zeb out he's got two damage um you can use carabas to do two damage to someone else so it's going to be definitely better um kind of late game using with those capital ships those big bombs at the end so um, kind of my thought behind this is, you know, those unique cards matter as well as rebel cards. So we're really going rebel focused. Um, again, um, we're really thinking, um, throughout, you know, these three sets, there's going to be a lot of rebels matters and possibly unique cards. Uh, we'll see on that, but definitely rebels matters. Um, starting with agent callus, uh, definitely very flavorful as he goes both sides, uh, for fulcrum as well as a double agent, um, kind of the, the main bad guy the first couple seasons of Rebels, and then he switches over. So he's five and a green, four, four, Imperial Trooper, um, Ambush, and then when another unique unit is defeated, which is gonna be every unit in this core, um, minus anything you um, put out. And then this is also for when another unique is defeated, that goes for your um, opponents as well. You may draw a card, use this ability only once each round. So. At some point, you're going to be able to draw a card as long as Agent Callus is on the board. So, for our command unique units outside of um, Agent Callus, um, we're going to start with Mon Mothma and Bail Organa. Definitely flavorful. They are, you know, that rebellion part. So, Mon Mothma, uh, two in a green, one, three, Rebel Officer. When played, search the top five cards of your deck for a rebel card, which is going to be the majority of your cards. Reveal it and draw it. So just a nice way to put Mon Mothma down. She's super cheap. Get another card. Kind of get you ahead on that card advantage. And Bail Organa, another cheap one. Uh, one green for a one-two. Uh, all command. For his action, give an experience token to another friendly unit. Um, experience tokens. You're going to see a, a few of those um, in here. But it's a quick upgrade. Um, I have been defeated by a lot of opponents just because I didn't respect the experience tokens. Experience tokens, you put one or two on a unit, it gets out of control real quick if left unchecked. Admiral Akbar, it's not a trap. Um, three, three in a command, uh, three in a green. Uh, one, four, rebel, got another rebel. Uh, restore one when this unit attacks, heals one damage from your base. Definitely want to have some kind of restore going on as, you know, multiplayer can get a little bit longer and you want to kind of keep up on your base health. Um, not necessarily going too far up, but definitely 
restoring, healing your base um, just a little bit throughout, so you're you're still keeping up with everybody. And then when played, you may deal dam damage to a unit equal to the number of units control in this arena. So you have a nice little spread board, um, do some damage, little spot removal. Um, definitely have to think about that that removal beforehand. Uh, play Admiral Akbar, kind of come in, swamp him, and then defeat a unit as he comes in. Hopefully. And then Wedge Antilles, another rebel. He is a 5 command, 5-5. Five, five. Each friendly vehicle gets plus 1, plus 1, and gains Ambush. After you get to play it, it gets ready, so kind of like haste in Magic the Gathering. Um, we do have a few big units, so if we can get Wedge Ant down to kind of set up um, our end game, it's going to be huge. They all get plus 1, plus 1, and then can attack um, as soon as they come down. It's going to be awesome. So, home one, one of those big capital ships for our command side of everything. It's uh, eight uh, command hero, uh, seven seven rebel vehicle capital ship. So the ships are also rebels. Uh, restore two, each other friendly unit gains restore one. So it's a nice way, kind of works with Admiral Akbar um, as that that capital ship for the the rebels um, to give him restore two when he attacks, as well as every other unit you have. So this is a nice way to kind of build back up and possibly steal the win because you only need to de defeat one other opponent. So if you can go in, um, swing with home one after dropping Antilles, restore up a little bit, do a few more swings um, in that same turn to kind of bolster up your uh, health. It's going to be awesome. Then uh, one more um, ability. Obviously, this is a legendary card. It's got a lot going on for it. When played, play a heroic unit from your disc discard pile. It costs three less. So you'll be able to get uh, some possibly um, even Wedge Antilles back on the field um, if he's defeated or another big unit to kind of help out with that end game. Home one, definitely a sweet end game sweeper. And then Bright Hope, uh, Rebel Vehicle Transport, uh, it's a 4, 2, 6 Sentinel. So this uh, units in this arena can't attack your non Sentinel units. So it's kind of goading everything towards that Bright Hope. Um, goading everything towards that Bright Hope so that. Um, you can maybe last a little bit longer if you don't have that home one down. Um, and then when played, you may return a friendly non-leader ground unit to its owner hand, owner's hand if you do draw a card. So that kind of goes both ways. You can use it aggressively or defensively. So if there's a um, unit that you don't want out there, it's got a few experience tokens on it, um, get rid of it. Or if you have you know one of your bigger units um, about to be defeated, you can use that to bounce it. Nice little um, situational, situational uh, unit card. Up next for aggression, uh, we're starting with Saw Guerrera. Um, so Saw, I mean, he he kind of is the beginning of a rebellion. It's a little out of aspect, so it's really going to be a six drop, um, five four as an additional cost for each opponent to play at events. They must deal two damage to their base. So this is going to be huge, um, which is why I'm cool with uh, paying six for this. Um, because it's a nope card. This is a card that they have to deal with, otherwise they kind of do two damage to themselves all the way around. So possibly, you know, the turn you drop Saw Guerrero, if he goes unanswered, um, if they're playing in events, you can do two, four, six damage um, to your opponents, um, really giving you um, a lot of value uh, for Saw Guerrero. And then K2SO, um, kind of the same time period as well, um, comes out as a four, uh, four, four, Rebel Droid. Uh, he has Overwhelm, so kind of that trample damage um, as you go through uh, units. Um, when defeated, for each opponent, choose one. Either deal three damage to that player's base, or that player discards a card from their hand. Um, again, it's very situational. I like the situational value uh, for some of these cards. So you really get to decide uh, what you're going to do with them. And then Benthic Two Tubes, um, kind of that, that that same time period as well. He is a one drop 2-2. Two -two. On attack, another friendly... Um, aggression unit gains raid two for this phase. So you attack with him, get two. Um, any other um, aggression units you have could be uh, Sabine uh, gets two two while attacking. Nice little situational um, gain. You know, kind of overwhelming, uh, which is really what aggression's about. And then black one, um, six drop four four uh, resistance vehicle fighter. Um, I like it just because when played and defeated, you may discard your hand if you do draw three cards. Um, that ability is huge, um, especially if you know you don't like what's in your hand, or you don't even have a hand because you've played out. Um, you can do this free, draw three cards, uh, refill yourself back up. Super awesome. For vigilance, starting with Luke Skywalker, he is a rebel, so he gets all of your your rebel uh, items as well. 
Um, he is a seven drop, six, seven, big boy. Um, restore three, so again, you're healing with him. Uh, when played, uh, so on play, give an enemy unit minus three, minus three for this phase. If a friendly unit was defeated this phase, give that enemy unit minus six, minus six for this phase instead. So if you wait until attacks, um, maybe you trade into something, or someone um, kind of takes out, defeats a couple of your units, you can trade that unit with Luke Skywalker, um, put him in, get a big body, um, and then usually defeat um, a possibly bigger unit, or if there's something small going in, just to have that situational removal, which is awesome. So you have him coming in as a big body, as well as that removal. And then Baze Malbus, I probably butcher that, uh, four, two, three, or two, five. Um, grit, so for every damage he has, um, he gets um, plus one for that. So as he, you know, kind of goes down in that health, he increases his attack. He also has Sentinel, so they kind of, folks are forced to, to fight into him. Um, so whether they trade, um, kind of a, a good way to get set up for that end game, uh, protect everything, and then um, on the next turn, kind of drop everything you need. And then the Redemption Capital Ship, eight drop, Vigilance, six, nine. Uh, it also has Sentinel. Uh, when played, heal up to eight total damage from any number of units and or bases. Deal that much damage to this unit. Um, so it comes in, um, good little end game. Uh, if you have you know wedge on the board, you can swing with it too. So you can heal up, swing, possibly ending the game in itself. Um, don't necessarily need to heal when you do, but definitely a good end game card to have um, as you want to finish things off. And the General Dodonna didn't really have a place. He's heroic. Um, definitely needs to go in this deck. Four drop, four four, um, a staple in every single Rebel deck. Um, other friendly Rebels get plus one plus one. Need it. Um, and then just uh, some of the events cards I want to uh, put in this deck, this core uh, for the Spectres, um, Spectre Rebels. Um, commands, uh, four uh, green green. Um, so it's a little out of aspect, but it's definitely worth the six that you're paying for it. Uh, choose two in any order, give two experience tokens to a unit. A friendly unit deals damage equal to its power to a non-unique enemy. Uh, so anything that's really not named, put this event into play as a resource, so a little ramp. Or return a unit from your discard pile to your hand. It's definitely worth six um, just because of that situational. If you need to, you know, kind of jump down, um, be a little more aggressive, giving that two experience tokens, um, as well as dealing that, that damage, um, resource for that ramp. Um, just really like what's going on with, with command. And then Rebel Assault, attack with a Rebel unit. Well, you have a lot of Rebel units. It gets plus one, plus zero for the attack, then attack with another Rebel unit. Uh, so it's a one drop and then attack with two units. A super huge um, tempo swing, um, either in the mid game to kind of get get leverage on um, the table or um, a good way to just kind of finish it off with those two attacks um, at the end if you have those, those capital ships because they are Rebel units. And it's strike true. A friendly unit deals damage equal to its power to an enemy unit. Um, three drop, uh, just a nice little um, spot removal uh, to, to keep ahead on that that tempo. Um, interacting with your opponent's side of the table um, is definitely a must. Um, a lot of folks, when it comes to card games, always forget that they need to interact. Not just attack, not just what am I doing, but how do I control the other uh, folks on the table as well. So then the force is with me, um, very, um, very flavorful, uh, four and a blue, choose a friendly unit and give two experience tokens to it. If you control a force unit, also give a shield token to the chosen unit. So there's a few force folks in here. Um, you may attack with the chosen unit as well. Um, so definitely for the experience tokens. Um, and then if you do have Luke Skywalker on the field, it's a um, nice little way to, to add shield tokens as well. For a cause I believe in. Again, spark that rebellion. I like the flavor behind it. Um, just the art and the name. Uh, three and a red. Reveal the top four cards of your deck. For each heroic card revealed this way, deal one damage to an enemy base. You may discard any of the real reveal cards and put the rest back on top of your deck in any order. So it's kind of twofold. <laughs> Being able to um, do that damage to enemy bases, um, kind of chip them out, and then card filtering, uh, getting rid of the cards you don't necessarily want um, that go into your game plan, or being able to um, stack the deck into the order that you want. And then Bombing Run, five and a red, 
choose an arena, ground or space, deal three damage to each unit in that arena. So it could be a good way um, to start off a, uh, a turn, um, kind of do that big damage across the board. Uh, you're going to get a lot of a lot of damage for this, um, or and then kind of swing in um, with um, your your bigger capital ships um, if you still have them, or just kind of play around it. So that's kind of the main core um, that I wanted to go through with the uh, the Specter Rebels deck. Um, not too many Specters yet, um, as you know, it's kind of the first set. So hopefully, as we get more sets, um, we'll get you know more Specter cards, possibly Veers as a Specter, Ahsoka as a Specter. Uh, we don't have a, any Ahsoka Specters yet, but or Ahsoka cards yet. But she was definitely there at the Spark of the Rebellion, a big part. Um, kind of see you know how, how things uh, shake up. Maybe with the Escape Pod for the uh, Specter, the or for the the Ghost. Um, and, and maybe some other cards. We might get some more Spectre cards, like uh, when Kanan um, sacrificed himself to save everybody. Maybe we'll get um, the World Between Worlds. Um, that could be super cool. Um, so we'll, we'll see. So make sure that you're, uh, you know, like, subscribe to the channel so you know when we do more deck techs. Um, as well as, you know, when the sets come out, we'll uh, kind of do some card evaluations on, you know, what, how, how things work in Twin Sun. Uh, we'll be going to uh, pre-release uh, this weekend to kind of start getting our hands on cards. Uh, we'll do some uh, videos, um, live videos, hopefully, uh, for that, some live gameplay. Um, so in uh, the meantime, may the force be with you. Uh, until next time. Bye.